are joined with a very special guest from Israel today, Mr. Asher Ben Arzi. You are watching live Super Chat with Dr. Sharda and myself at Brainburst Attack TV. We welcome Mr. Asher Ben Arzi and I would like to uh, request Dr. Sharda to introduce him and then we'll go ahead with our conversation today. Mr. Arzi, welcome. Let me give you a little uh, past history of the TAG TV. Tahir Kora has worked very hard for the last 10-15 years and it has become one of the most uh, 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 listenable uh, program in the world. Uh, UK, America, Canada, Pakistan and India, they watch in hundreds and hundreds of thousands TAG TV. And it's our prayer to have you here. We know you are sitting in a country which has gone through recently a couple of problems which you are facing for the last 48 years. And at the same time, uh, I personally feel I would like to ask you just one thing before we start questioning and answering. What is the latest situation of being the Prime Minister of Israel? Yep. Uh, hello, Dr. Sharda. It's my pleasure to be It's my pleasure to be here. Hello, Tahir. Um, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to, to your uh, program. Um, first of all, I can tell you that uh, to be to be Israeli citizen, first of all, it's a great honor. A great honor because. Uh, let, let me tell you something about Israel. Israel is not less than a miracle. The creation of the independent state of Israel is not less than a miracle. Um, uh, India got the uh, independence in, in 1947. Uh, a year later, the Brits left Israel and we got our independent, independence. But the creation of uh, the Jewish independence state after uh, uh, more, more than 2,000 years in diaspora, uh, after the, the, the terrible Holocaust, uh, this is America. And we succeeded to, to create a new state, a new independent state, Although the, the, the Brits uh, didn't accept it, although the, uh, the uh, Arabic terror didn't accept it, um, uh, we, we, we live in, the, in this independent state uh, since 1948, as, as I said, uh, uh, 74 years. But we suffer from Arabic terror more than 100 years. This is uh, our problem, but we know how to deal with this problem. Uh, but if you, if you ask me, what is the meaning of to be Israeli citizen? Uh, in one, <coughs> sorry, in one world, it's a great honor. You are right, sir. And uh, as we can see your great profile, that uh, you happen to be chief superintendent <coughs> with over 34 years of service in the Israel Security Agency and the Israel National Police. Uh, you have a long career of leadership as a key player in the Israeli security and intelligence sphere. So based on your long, long, uh, service to Israel, we would like to know how could Israel come out of this vicious attack of terrorism permanently? Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, wh when you, uh, uh, after you introduce me, le let me add, let me add some details before I, I uh, give the full answer. Uh, as you said, uh, my career uh, was very long. I started my way in the uh, intelligence service or what we call SHINBET or ISA, the Israeli Security Agency. Uh, then I moved to the police. Uh, I made two, two senior positions in the police. The last one was the, uh, the director of Interpol. And in this framework, I, I had uh, all the, the, the connections with the uh, police agencies overseas and intelligence agencies overseas. Uh, I know very well the CBI in the India because we, we used to cooperate. Uh, I was responsible for the Israeli police attaches overseas. Uh, we don't have anyone in India, but uh, we have one in Bangkok and one in uh, China, which is uh, a very fresh, very new uh, position in China. Uh, and these two uh, uh, police attaches, they co cover uh, Asia and uh, Oceania. Um, they cover many countries, actually. Uh, so uh, my uh, connections with all the police agencies, uh, all the intelligence agencies, and uh, uh, in, in the framework of, uh, 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 sorry, in the uh, points of uh, uh, criminality and counterterrorism, uh, this is exactly what uh, made me an expert in, in uh, intelligence in, in this field. After my retirement, I began my uh, position in the ICT, the Institute for Counterterrorism, in which I'm a research associate. Uh, so counterterrorism is also my uh, a new expertise on, on my, uh, of me. And uh, I have some uh, partnerships in intelligence companies in, in, in Israel and out of Israel also. So uh, now, now I can, I can uh, tell you uh, about your, uh, I can give you the, the answer about uh, for your question. Um, uh, our situation after the recent uh, activity or the recent uh, war which we had with Hamas. Uh, Hamas, now Hamas is, is very weak. The infrastructures of Hamas are ruined. Everything is ruined in Gaza, everything. But Hamas is still exists and not just Hamas. Uh, the, the other terror, organiza terror organizations uh, also still exist. Uh, we cannot uh, we, we cannot kill them all. Uh, it's a, a very ugly world, but we cannot kill them all. Um, my, uh, I, I had a dream in the past that li like in the uh, computer, uh, if we have a button of delete, we can delete them, but no, it's impossible. They, they are still exist, we cannot delete them, and we have to live near near the terror. As I said, uh, we suffer from terrorism, the, the Israelis, for more than 100 years. And uh, they say in the world that we are the best in counter-terrorism. Yes, uh, we, we are the best. We are very good. Uh, wh and why? Not because we are smarter than the other nations. Not because we are more professional uh, than the other nations. Simply because we suffer from terrorism for more than 100 years and we have to find solution how to react, how to live together with the with the uh, 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 terror, so the Hamas is still exist. We we have a, a expression in in Hebrew: Hamas is alive and kick, kicking, alive and kicking. This is Hamas. We have to live with it. We 
cannot delete him totally. You are talking about Hamas. Hamas has there <coughs> in Lebanon also. Hamas is there in Syria also. So recently, I think first time in this war, uh, uh, even rockets came from Lebanon. And they are being supported by Iran. And how do you uh, deal with Iran and the rest of the world? Because ultimately, you cannot live forever like this every five, six years in war. You have to find out permanent solution. Yes. Uh, if if we, we can find a permanent solution, this is the, the best uh, option. But you cannot find a permanent solution. A permanent solution is delete. And we cannot do it. Why why can't we why can't we delete? Because the international court in, in The Hague is waiting for us. They want us to make such a solution, and but we cannot do it. We cannot do it. Uh, um, uh, the, the idea of the, our army, the Israel Defense Forces, is a, a very a, a, a moral army. Uh, in the last in the last war, uh, 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 some weeks ago, we we did uh, the IDF didn't attack uh, the leaders of Hamas because uh, to, uh, it, they didn't attack the leaders to avoid uh, killing. Um, citizen, and you know, and the, the whole world knows that Hamas use citizen and children as human uh, uh, protection, a uh, human shield. Uh, we don't, we, we cannot uh, use uh, our citizen as, as human shield. We, we don't uh, do it. And when, when Hamas do it, we cannot attack. That's the, the, the answer. Sir, actually, um, Israel has given citizenship to Arabs over 1.5 million. So how could Arab Israels help to eradicate terrorist mindset from Hamas-like groups? Well, um, I'm sure that if you ask uh, Israeli Arab, uh, do you want to be a citizen of the PA of the Palestinian uh, 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 Authority? Of course, he doesn't want, because Palestinian Authority is is uh, like Hamas. Uh, it, it, it's a chaos. In Israel, the the Arab citizen they have full citizenship. They have full human rights. Uh, they, they can sue the police, the, 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 the citizen in Israel, every citizen, uh, Israeli citizen, Jew or Arab, it doesn't matter, can sue the police. They cannot do it in the Palestinian Authority, they cannot do it in, in Gaza against the Hamas. So the, the Israeli uh, Arabs, they uh, want to be Israeli citizens. And they have full uh, rights here. They get uh, national insurance uh, money. They, they get everything. The, the state of Israel uh, helps them. Uh, they, they don't want to be a citizen of the Palestinian Authority. But, but uh, they, like us, they live along the terror and uh, they cannot do anything. The, uh, in, in the last war of the, the, the wars, the God, our last war against the, the Hamas, uh, Hamas was ruined, but Hamas had two success in, in this war. The, the first one, he succeeded to uh, connect the Israeli Arabs to the struggle. Until last month, the Israeli Arabs were a, a, a very good citizens. They, they are our citizens. 
but Hamas succeeded to connect them to the war. Another success of Hamas that they uh, succeeded to uh, uh, to bring Jerusalem to the struggle also. Now Hamas can can claim we are the, the defenders of Jerusalem. Well, it's 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 a, it's a lie. It's nonsense. But they can claim it because they shoot they uh, shoot missiles on Jerusalem. Uh, well, uh, uh, they, they didn't think about the option that the missile will uh, hit the Temple Mount and, and hit Al Aqsa. And uh, two two missiles were, were supposed to hit the Temple Mount. But the Temple Mount is, is not uh, uh, is not just Jewish Temple Mount. This is Al Aqsa. Now, if I mentioned Al Aqsa, what was the big lie that they told uh, all the Arabs that uh, we, the Israelis, we attack Al Aqsa? We didn't attack Al Aqsa at all. The the struggle was. Uh, in in, uh, in in another neighborhood, uh, Sheikh Jarrah, which is far away from the, the old city of Jerusalem. It's one of the neighborhood in Jerusalem. It's an Arabic neighborhood. There, there, there was a struggle there, uh, and uh, um, I, I can mention that the uh, Israeli extremists, Jewish extremists, they, they, they made this provocation, okay, but but uh, no link to Al Aqsa. Sheikh Jarrah, this neighborhood is far away from the Temple Mount, far away from the old city. Uh, it, it's a neighborhood in Jerusalem, but uh, Hamas claimed the Jews uh, wants to ruin Al Aqsa. Nonsense, nonsense. It, it's it was just a claim. To to uh, to burn the field. Asher, Asher, I I would like to take you to some other point. <clears throat> you told me that you love Modi, you like Modi. Twenty years back, Israel and India started developing relations. In the last seven years, eight years, relations have become much more uh, deep uh, when Modi came, and. Uh, many Indian forces men came for the training in Israel. You you must be aware of that. So, what do you think the yeah. relationship in future? Yeah. Uh, and because India is also fighting terrorism uh, in Jammu and yeah. Kashmir and other. Sorry, Doctor Shabda, can you repeat the question? <clears throat> the last question. The the question is very simple. Uh, how do you think India? and Israel having a relationship up to this extent that Israel even trains uh, Indian army personnel and give equipment which can really uh, take care of the terrorism because we also have a great number of terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir and other parts and you know it very well because you told me that you love Modi. Okay, uh, uh, we, we have something in common. Both nations, Israel and India, we suffer from terror. Uh, we, we live in this environment of terror, as I said, many years. You, in, in India, you live in this environment of terror. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many years, because I'm not expert for this uh, uh, terror. But uh, if I'm talking about suicide attack, the suicide attack was invited, uh, I, I think, in Sri Lanka, in Sri Lanka or, or, in, the, or, or in, in India by the the Tamil Tigers, the the Arab Arabic, the, the Arab terror, uh, just developed it, made made it more modern. But we both nations 
we suffer from terror. Uh, this is the, 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 the reason that we have very good relations between the two nations. And we think to, uh, uh, to Mr. Moody for his uh, attitude. Um, uh, so uh, we, we, can do, we can do something together. The cooperation between India and Israel is, is a very good cooperation because we, we can uh, attack the terror together. Yeah, be- this is the cooperation now. Before Mr. Uh, Tahir ask you a question, I am going to ask you yes. just one question. Uh, Mr. Modi had a very good relationship with Mr. Netanyahu, and Netanyahu is going. So what do you think the new Prime Minister will deal with India? Uh, you are right. Netanyahu, uh, Netanyahu was, a, or maybe still, is a political genius. He was the prime minister in the last uh, 12 or 13 years, I don't remember, but many years. Um, he's a good friend of uh, Modi. Okay, but politics is not based upon uh, uh, personal relations. Politics is based upon nations. And the, uh, our... Uh, uh, a new prime minister, Mr. Bennett, uh, is aware, is aware, very well, very well aware to the uh, political uh, environment and to the uh, uh, terror dangers, uh, the dangers of the terror. Uh, but but uh, it, it's not final. It's not final. Um, um, the, the new government will will be served only in in a, in a week time from today. Um, so it's not final. Uh, we, we have a phrase: it, "It's not. This is not the end until the fat lady sings." Uh, it, it's from the opera world, but uh, it, it, this is not the end. Uh, Netanyahu can surprise us, um, but okay, uh, he, he was a brilliant prime minister. He, he, he was a political genius, but uh, maybe now uh, Mr. Bennett will be the new uh, prime minister. So, Mr. Arsi, uh, going back to your uh, uh, previous concern, you said that the Arab Israelis are now in lining with Hamas, uh, with PLO-like groups. And it is a quite concerning <coughs> issue in Israel. So what about uh, uh, when we see good relationship between Israel and some of the Gulf countries like uh, um, Arab Emirates? So do you have any hope from Gulf countries in terms of giving their input for some solution in Israel? Okay, Tayyip. First, first of all, regarding the Israeli Arabs, uh, you, you can see that I have a small note in, in my hand with numbers. Not all the Israeli Arabs uh, um, uh, came to this struggle by uh, by Hamas. Hamas succeeded to influence some of them. Okay, but not all of them. Most of the Israeli Arabs are very good citizens, Israeli citizens. Uh, in this note, which I, I am reading now from numbers from uh, from a note, uh, you, I'm sure you remember that we suffer a lot in Israel from suicide attacks. Um, the, the first attack, suicide attack, happened in 1993. The last one was in 2011. Uh, we, we had, in this period, we had 127 deaths, Israeli deaths. Uh, and, uh, uh, sorry, 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 my mistake. Uh, uh, we had uh, 700 
75 deaths. And in this period, in this period, uh, 93 until 2011, uh, the number of the attacks, suicide attack, was 127 attacks. Uh, now, uh, from this number of 127 attacks, suicide attacks, only one attack, only one attack was committed by Israeli Arab. The rest was committed by Hamas, by uh, uh, Islamic Jihad, by uh, some other organizations, but only one attack was committed by Israeli Arab. Um, and why, how, how did we succeed to stop in 2011 this system of suicide attack? Uh, well, uh, it, it was long effort. If you remember, Prime Minister at that time in Israel was Ariel Sharon. Ariel Sharon was a military genius. And he was the one who invited the principle of the security fence. Uh, the security fence was most of the 95% of the security fence was a fence, not a wall. But Israel was condemned by the whole world that we lock the Palestinians uh, behind walls. No, it was a fence, a security fence. And this, this was the, the, the ultimate solution in which we succeeded to, uh, to stop the, the uh, suicide attacks. And we succeeded to stop. Since 2011, we, we did not have any suicide attacks. We had attacks, terror attacks, but not the suicide. Suicide attack is 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 terrible, terrible attack. Uh, we, we say in in the ICT we, we call it the uh, the small bomb of the pools. If you are a suicide bomber, if you are a terrorist, and you you take a bomb on your body and you uh, make yourself a clicking bomb, this is the smart bomb of the pools. And we, we lost many people, as I told you, more than 700 people we, we lost in this period of suicide attack, but we succeeded to stop it because of the uh, security fence. Israel was condemned by the whole world. Even even uh, the, the U.S. Uh, and uh, but in in the recent years, we we can see that uh, uh, some uh, countries in Europe adopted the system of the security defense to uh, to prevent the huge wave of refugees arriving to Europe. So they they adopted the system, security defense. So this was Ariel Sharon, the prime minister, who was a, a military genius. So I asked uh, uh, one thing more in, in my previous question. So how could uh, your good relationship now with Gulf states help solve the situation? Okay, the, the Gulf uh, countries, and uh, not all of them, as you know, but uh, most of them, um, they, they want relations with Israel. Uh, they suffer from terror. I cannot say uh, the same, the same as India or the same, uh, the same uh, like Israel, but they suffer from them. Um, I'm not sure that they like the Palestinians so much. They wanted to cooperate with Israel. The cooperation is in the levels of intelligence and military and security. We know that uh, uh, they, they, they can, uh, we can trust them. We, we, we can cooperate with the uh, uh, Gulf uh, Arabic states we can cooperate with them. Um, and uh, if they don't uh, uh, make any uh, movement uh, together with uh, the, the terror, we can, we can uh, beat the terror together, together with them. Um, maybe India can, 
countries also. I said, <clears throat> most of the media in the world, some or the other, they don't see eye to eye with Israel's actions which I think is a biased one. But at the same time, how do you think that this international media uh, can be uh, taught and can be explained Israel situation, that how difficult situation you are in, and you are being surrounded by Lebanon, Syria, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, Hamas. So how, how do you think uh, it will be done. Well, uh, uh, first of all, I, I can I can tell you that Israel is a strong nation. Uh, we have a, a very strong army. The, uh, the the international press they want to uh, they want photos they want uh, videos of the poor people who suffer uh, because of the Israeli army. But the, the, the photos are, are not genuine. The photos are uh, 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 directed photos. Uh, it's, it's forgery. Israel is strong and uh, they want to show that Israel uh, beat the Palestinians very, uh, uh, in a very cruel way. But, but, this is the failure, the failure of the Israeli propaganda. We don't have Israel. We don't have a professional and efficient propaganda system. Uh, it's not enough that you are the right side. You have to show that you are right. You have to prove that you are right. You said very well that, uh, unfortunately, the Israeli narrative is not very strong in terms of uh, delivering the message uh, in, in Israel and uh, I think Israeli media and Israeli government need to work on it but also we see on the other hand even international community does not understand Israel's uh, genuine concerns so how could you uh, at government level, because you happen to be uh, an intelligence uh, consultant for a long time, how could it be possible at government level to convince the international community about your legitimate concerns? Well, uh, this is exactly what I said, uh, the, the failure of the Israeli pro uh, propaganda. But uh, Maybe I, I can succeed to persuade the, the international community that we are right. If I can explain them that uh, we, we are sitting here in Israel and in the next, the next neighbor is shooting missiles and kill citizen, Israeli citizen. And uh, this neighbor, it, it's not interesting for him if he lose his citizens or if, if he uh, shoot or kill uh, uh, civilians and children. It, 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 it's not interesting. So maybe um, uh, if I can explain the, the European countries that uh, if, if they get missiles or rockets in Paris, in Frankfurt, in London, in Vienna, uh, only, only then they will understand our position. Um, I, I can tell you that uh, after 9-11, the, after uh, America, the, the US, they sent uh, the army to deal with the terror. The terror means Al-Qaeda. They sent the, the, the army thousands of kilometers from from uh, Washington or from New York to deal with the terror or to fight the terror. Uh, I mean Afghanistan. Uh, we want to deal with the terror in, in the neighbor in, in Gaza. 
which is a neighboring country. Gaza, uh, if people, may, maybe the audience uh, don't, don't know, but Gaza was in the past, Gaza was a part of Egypt. It's uh, very near to Sinai Desert. And, and by the way, by the way, and uh, uh, I talked about it in the beginning, when uh, this, this was the success of Hamas, because Hamas is only in Gaza. And, and if they claim that they have now a linkage to Jerusalem, this, this was the success of Hamas. Okay, but uh, you asked me about the, 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 the international community. So only when and only if the international community understand that the uh, uh, missiles or terror can kill, only then they can understand our point. Asher, when I visited Israel, at that time I didn't see the army people on the roads. I didn't see them, uh, I mean, locally where you can um, watch them. So question is, what do you think ultimately solution is going to be of this crisis? Can you ask again the question? I, I cannot hear you so well because of... Oh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, no, the question is, you see, when, when I visited Israel a few years back, I didn't see army people, personals, moving on the roads. I saw, I mean, I, I was there for three days and I saw near about every part of Israel. And uh, I personally feel, how do you think the ultimate solution of the ongoing problem will be solved? Do you think it will be solved in the next 5, 10, 20 years? Do you think it will not be solved? And you have to live like this for the coming 50 years? Uh, well, uh, uh, first of all, let, let me tell you, when you visited, when, when you visited Israel, uh, I'm sure you saw in, in the cities, in the towns, you saw uh, the police because we uh, the, the army is not inside the, the army is not dealing with riots or, or with no uh, is not dealing with civilians the army has its own uh, 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 task uh, to, to be an army the police is inside the police is inside the country now if you ask me about the, the solution well, what is the solution for our situation. I'm sorry to tell you that th there is no solution. Th there is no solution to, to our situation. There is no solution because we don't have a, a rational partner to deal with. We don't have a, a partner to talk with. Uh, Hamas declared that he won't erase Israel. Uh, he he, he wants to as I said in the beginning, you want to delete, like the button in, in the in the computer, you want to delete this back, to erase this back. So we, we cannot deal with Hamas. Uh, so we, we don't have solution to this situation, but, but I want to tell you something else uh, regarding the political situation in Israel. This is the first time, okay, uh, if Netanyahu is leaving, I, I will be very sorry, but, but he's leaving. Uh, th this is politics. Uh, but in, in the new government, it's the first time that we have a, a Arabic party in the coalition. And it's very, very important. Israeli Arabs, uh, will be will sit in the coalition together with Bennett and Lapid, the, the the second prime minister, uh, Mr. Lapid, and the, the Israeli Arabs will sit together. Uh, uh, we, we shall have a new uh, Arabic minister, and this Arabic minister is from the Islamic movement, not. Uh, not just an Arabic, is from the Islamic movement. It's very important to Israel 
to uh, that we succeeded to arrive to this situation so in this from this point of view i'm very optimistic uh, from the point of view of the uh, solution of our struggle against the, the terror organization i'm not optimistic Mr. Tahir will ask you the last question, but I just want to find it out one thing from you. Do you think Israel will ever go in war with Iran? Uh, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, the Iranian intelligence service is a very good one. They, they are professionals. And when we when we are dealing with professionals, we should uh, 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 deal with our professionals. Uh, I mean, we we used intelligence against against Iran. Uh, well, uh, I think because nobody can admit and nobody can uh, tell that. Israel was behind. Uh, so we use intelligence. And I hope, I hope that no war will appear or will, will happen between the two nations. The Iranian nation, uh, they, they are very good people. We have a, a, lot, a lot of Iranian Jews in Israel. They were born in Iran in the past, of course, they arrived to Israel and they are Israeli citizens. We know Iran very well. Uh, okay, from the past, not the modern Iran, not the, uh, very, the extremely religious Iran. Uh, I, I hope that no war happened between the two nations. We, 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 we still use intelligence in this struggle. Uh, viewers, you are watching Brain Burst with Dr. Sharda and myself, and today, as you can see, our special guest is Mr. Asher Ben Arsi. We'll have your couple of questions for Mr. Arsi. Uh, kindly send us precisely those questions which are related to uh, Israel-Palestine conflict. Sir, my last question to you, uh, which, which could be the first one, but uh, it is okay to ask you in the end, that what is the situation of Israel now, these days, after a recent series of attacks from Hamas and Hezbollah? Uh, well, uh, I, I, I told you in, in the beginning of my uh, uh, answers, Hamas is, is very weak now. Uh, the infrastructures of Hamas are totally ruined, but Hamas is, still exists. We, we, we fight Hamas, and uh, this is not the last uh, war together with uh, Hamas or against Hamas. Be because in the in the coming few years, Hamas will be stronger because Iran is behind it. Iran was the, the, the one who sent the, the missiles uh, which Hamas shoot on Tel Aviv and on Jerusalem. Uh, um, so this is not the last war together with Hamas. But uh, I think that the, the situation inside Israel is more important for us because the IDF knows what to do with, with the terror or what to do with Hamas. The Israeli uh, uh, security agency, the ISA, Shin Bet, they know how to deal with terror. The police knows how to deal with terror. Uh, and the army should fight against Hamas. Uh, but the, the most important uh, effort for us is uh, to, to bring the peace back uh, to, to the uh, inside part of Israel. We, we, we should live peacefully together with the uh, Israeli Arabs, together with the uh, near Palestinians, not in Gaza. 
kill the, the, the nearest the Palestinians. This is more important. No, thank you. Thank you for giving us the perspective. Let's see if we do have any question. Uh, there's a question from India uh, that, uh, what is the future of uh, India-Israel-Pakistan relations? Well, uh, the, the relations between Israel and uh, India, as, as we said, the, uh, the relations are very good. Um, I, I'm sure that the, the relations will be more developed in the uh, in the uh, framework uh, of intelligence and military, uh, but also uh, also Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan, um, uh, we, we 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 are not enemies. Pakistan is not the enemy of Israel. Israel is not the enemy of Pakistan. The the only point that uh, uh, Muslims are living in Pakistan, this is not the reason uh, of uh, hate. Um, the Pakistanians, uh, they are not Palestinians. Uh, they don't have, the Pakistanians don't, uh, don't uh, doesn't have any fight together with the Israel. So uh, I, I, I am quite optimistic uh, regarding the future between Israel and Pakistan. I'm quite optimistic. Right. So any other question if we see on the board? Yes, another question. Even though the relationship between Israel and India could not openly support Israel and UN, what will be the effect on your relationship? And between Israel and India? India. If, if, if India is not able to support Israel no. openly in the United Nations, so even though, what would be the stance of Israel for India? No, no. Israel will will ever, ever uh, will be uh, in favor of India. Uh, we don't mix politics. Politics is hypocrisy. Uh, most of the European countries, uh, uh, this is hypocrisy to claim that Israel uh, 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 kill babies, kill children, kill citizens, this is hypocrisy. So uh, if India cannot help Israel in, in, the, uh, in the UN, uh, okay, uh, it's a part of politics, but we, we shall have, uh, we shall uh, always be uh, uh, friends of India, we shall always be together. Good answer. I really appreciate your, your very clear stance on it. And if you see, we do have any more question. Uh, yes, what about uh, Palestine uh, who, uh, who are using human shield? What is your reaction and how would you deal with this? Uh, he's answering, he's asking the pretty much same question, but you can add a few words on it. He has answered that. Yes. Uh, the, the fact is that we cannot attack if this is the scenario, we, we don't attack. So they use children as human shield. The leaders of Hamas, as I said, they use citizen and children as human shield uh, inside schools, inside uh, 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 hospitals. In such a case, we cannot attack uh, the IDF cannot do anything in, in such a case because we cannot kill citizens. We cannot kill uh, uh, innocent people. Last question, if we do have any, we'll take. Is Israel getting any assistance support from China? Uh, well, <laughs> I have to admit that uh, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, I can tell you that uh, uh, as I said in, in the beginning, uh, I was responsible for the Israeli police attaches overseas. And uh, uh, in the last year, uh, the Israel police, Israel national police, sent a, a new police attaché to China. It's a new position. So if this is the situation, I guess that the relations uh, supposed to be 
better or supposed to be good. But uh, I don't know if uh, China assists or... Uh, um, but but uh, the, the the fact that we send the new police attaché to China, the, this is this is the answer. No, really appreciate your very candid answer uh, on this very complex issue. And we really appreciate yeah, uh, that you gave us time because uh, we really wanted to know the perspective in Israel uh, regarding this ongoing conflict for a long, long time. And uh, we wish Israel the best. Uh, may God bless Israel. May God bless everyone on this planet. Dr. Sharda would cl close the show today. Now basically, I think Mr. Asher has explained everything, uh, Tahir Sahib. Uh, he also realizes that this situation is not going to die. And he also realizes that they cannot deal with Hamas. And Hamas does not, deal with, uh, does not like to deal with them. So the situation is very complex. I personally feel that it should be solved in the next 10 to 15 years. Otherwise, this may one day become another, uh, you know, like an atom bomb in, in, in the Middle East. We have already seen how I, ISI, how other uh, organizations are using the name of Palestinians. That we have seen. And I personally feel that some or the other, uh, they, uh, some solution should be there, but as Asher, who's expert, said there cannot be, and I also personally feel, you also personally feel, that Hamas organization, which is a terrorist organization, and it cannot be dealt as, uh, as a human being. So thank you very much for coming. We are very grateful to you. You gave us a time, and in future also, whenever we need, we will let you know, and we will be having another conversation. Israel's relations with Europe, with America, and China, and and Trump and uh, Canada. Canadian Canadian Prime Minister has announced two hundred million dollars to Palestinian. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Sharda. Thank you. Thank you, Taib. Uh, it was a, a big honor for me to sit together. Uh, I, I hope to to meet you in Israel. <laughs> Please come. Please come. We will. We will. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Asher Ben Artsi, and uh, thank your viewers for watching a very candid talk uh, with an Israeli uh, security intelligence expert. And stay tuned with us. Stack TV is always uh, with you with lots of content. And um, with this brain bus, we'll be back next Friday, same time.